Totally. Yep. Okay, so let's do an external EJ. Make sure you have all your material. You gotta have your IV prep stuff. You gotta have security device. You have to have cleaning material, sharp shuttle, some kind of safety lock or IV tube being connected to the IV with your flush already on. Keep everything sterile. Flush is ready to go. Tapes have to be drawn. And then you're looking at the site that you're gonna go through. Then have the patient in a position that will cause the venous return and congestion in the, the jugular vein. Go ahead and turn the kit off and then stretch the skin out and take a look and see which side is the right or the left. After you find that side, make sure you get your, your needle prep. I would say suggest again using a syringe so that it can draw back and help confirm that you're in the right place. Making sure no air is inside the syringe when, on the beginning. The alcohol prep site, your securing material, your flush, sharp shuttle already. Tourniquet area, stretch the vein out and skin. Clean and prep the site with the wagon wheel until the area is clean. You know where you clean, so that's where you're gonna start. You wanna start high up on the jaw and not so far down. So every miss penetrating the Pleural cavity space. You want to make sure that the catheter is all good, no burrs, burrs and shears. shears. <coughs> Turn the kit off at the bottom again. You stroke the skin away from the vein, making sure that you have a large runway so that your finger won't rub over the catheter. You'd like a longer, a longer IV needle. You know, a two and a half inch is really good because you have a lot of, a lot of room to work with. And if you go in and it, this part is sticking out, then you have a very little throw where the, the catheter can pop back out. So larger, longer needles for EJ. All right, so we've made sure everything is clean. We prep the site, we turn the kit down, we turn the head so that it's any area that we can, we make sure it's plateaued and flattened out. We're gonna stretch the skin away from the, and make sure that that vein, so we pin it down by stretching the skin out. You can hold it down closer when you first start to uh, insert. You go ahead and do the venipuncture. You feel a pop, you gotta run your fingers back so that you can pull on the plunger that you got blood return. As you have blood return, you can advance a little bit. See and test if it goes in, it should go in nice and freely. Advanced all the way up. Again, I'm at back of my fingers here, I'm drawing back on the plunger so I have venous return, I have blood. Now I'm gonna release I'm gonna release the tourniquetting part down here on my fingers so that I can find that, that spot before I release the traction. I wanna still pinch that so that I can move my fingers around. It pinches all the skin. Now I can pull the, cat, the, the needle out, place that into the sharp shuttle. Then with my saline lock, I'm, gonna, I'm still holding the traction because my fingers pinched it off. Now I'm gonna push this both together so that they both go down with the skin and it follows down. Correct? Alright, so now we're going to continue to flush. So you just hold that there in place. Flush, confirm that we're in. And disconnect and then go forward with your taping. This might be a little short. And <coughs> just confirm that you didn't go further down so you listen to long sounds, especially when you do this one. So go ahead and listen. And let's listen over this area.